In this video, we're attempting to pull the new chase card, Magicians of Bonds and Unity. What's up guys, we're back with another new Duelist Nexus opening. In this video, we are attempting to pull the brand new Magicians of Bonds and Unity, which is a brand new 25th anniversary rare that's coming in the next four sets, but each one is gonna be have a variant background color. So I'm not sure what color we're getting in this one, but we want to try and potentially pull all four. It'd be kind of cool to have the set. And it's the first time they've ever really done like a variant, like high rarity card that's just slightly different than the others, but you can tell which set it's from based on like the color. So it's kind of cool. And uh, I'm interested in trying to pull it. So we're gonna start off today. We already did a video yesterday. We didn't even get a 25th anniversary rare yesterday. So we're trying to do a little better today before we actually, you know, actually open this thing. I already kind of opened it, but just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, will we pull a starlight slash 25th anniversary or will it be the big card that we're looking for? And you guys can win a booster box of this Duels Nexus set. So if you guys want to win a booster box, check that out. Also check out Sassiato's link down below. If you guys want to grab some of this set yourself, potentially grab some of the new awesome cards or the Magicians of Bonds and Unity, whatever you want to call it. It's very hard to say. So we, we got to think of a nickname for this thing. How about the uh, Magician of Bonds, the Bonds and Unity? I don't know. We got to think of something because this is just too much to say every time. All right, come on guys. We got to pull something big today. We need something awesome. I These are really difficult to open, so I'm gonna, okay, there we go. Ultimate Bright Knight Ursatron Alpha, super rare, okay. We've got the Cuckoo Commanded to Croon. I don't even know what that means, but we got it, very cool. This video is brought to you by Pokerux. Pokerux is my Pokemon channel where I do Nuzlocks and stuff like that on Twitch. And sometimes I even do it offline, which is what I did in this current video that I just posted today. I made probably my best video ever, or at least so far, hopefully they'll be better in the future, but this is the best video I've ever made. It's a flying type Nuzlocke of Pokemon Silver. So if you guys enjoy Nuzlocke type content and you guys want to follow that kind of stuff from me, please go check it out. Pokerux is almost at 3K subs, which is pretty exciting. We're monetized, all that stuff is really cool. So I'm really excited to do more runs like this in the future and if you guys have not heard of me a lot of people show up to my stream and say i didn't know you had a pokemon channel i do have a pokemon channel i make that kind of content a lot we post tons of videos so go check it out i'm excited about it and i want to see more of you guys there if you are interested so thank you guys for listening to this let's get back to the video we want to get a 25th anniversary rare because i've opened two boxes so far and we have not pulled any of them so it'd be great there's the greed jar the jar of greed and the pot of greed mixed together storage pod aqua chorus we got a double-headed dino signs we have a deodara the grinosaurus and the uh, demigod of the uh, tistina this is also a lowered name very interesting ultra rare good stuff good stuff duelist nexus not bad can we get that magicians of bonds and you the goal of this video is to figure out a nickname for this thing that will not make me say Magicians of Bonds and Unity a million times. Because like when we did the Hungry Burger stream, we said it like a million times. We're gonna be doing one on Saturday, assuming we don't have that yet. Either way, we'll still be doing a stream, but we might be going for something else. But I'm not wanting to say that name a million times. We gotta think of a different name. The Magicians, I mean, that's very generic. There could be a lot of different things there. So I don't know if that one will work. How about the, uh, you're finished. All right, you're finished. You're never gonna think of one. Magician's Bonds, the Magician of Unity, the Unity Magician. Unity Magician might work. Click an echo, we have uh, Daedara, we have the Soul. Cornfield Kodal, oh, the Cornfield. Watch out for that corn. Children of the corn coming for you. We got a Duelist Genesis, very nice. 25th anniversaries, I'm assuming, are still like one in three boxes, but I mean, this will be my third box. We haven't pulled one yet, so maybe now's the time. These are all like from different places though. My first two are from my local store, so this is a different box so let's see if we can get a little bit luckier this time last time our local store gave us crazy luck so it's about time we kind of caught up with that a lot of these cards have giant dings on the back which is not awesome to see fortunately just commons uh the zuto mozoros all right del balanco over exaggeration ovalzar leos finis synchro Signs and a Magician of Faithfulness, the new retrain of Magician of Faith. Very cool. So far, just one Ultra Rare. So we're starting off a little bit slow. That's okay. We got a long way to go. We are going to pull something big today. We have Vita, Pearly, Shirley, Pearly, Shirley. Okay. Behemoth. We have Valence and a Secret Rare Dark Corridor. We pulled this yesterday. So pulling that guy again, we really want to pull the Revolution Synchron. That's what we're really looking for. That's the big boy in terms of Secret Rares in this set. Can we potentially pull one? Didn't pull one yesterday. I would love to pull one today. McConko, 
Magician's Deity, Unchained Soul, Synchro World, and a Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Very cool card. Let's keep going and see if that Magician's of Bonds and Unity can pop up in one of our packs. It'd be pretty awesome to pull it as our first because it's so hard to get these 25th anniversary cards now, like specific ones, because there's 25 options, man. Even at one in three uh, boxes, which is a lot easier to pull than a Starlight. When you times that by 25, it gets insane. I mean, you got to have whatever that is. I mean, seven. 75 booster boxes to get a specific one and that is divide that by 12 you get you know six seven cases something like that noble arms museum pretty insane that all the ultras seem to have lowered names so yeah it's it's tough to get the ones that you want and then there's variants that's involved you know you're not going to just pull all 25 unique cards in the first 25 uh quarter century rares you're going to pull like a bunch of dub like duplicates and stuff like that so you're not going to get like the exact one like you might pull like four of the wrong one and not never pull the one you want so it can get really ugly or you can get lucky and get it on the first one that's just how variance goes but you never really know what's going to happen it's pretty tough these days with these cards which makes it a little bit more fun though burf event super rare so even like with starlights there was only five of them so there wasn't as much chance for variance you know if there's like a ghost there was no variance it was either ghost or no ghost you know if you got the ghost you got the card so ghosts are just like that much easier another interesting thing that i was thinking about by the way with the 25th anniversary i know this uh isn't on topic but in terms of ratios uh since they've made the secrets a box on average it's actually harder to pull a specific super rare than it is a secret rare not ultra specific super because you need at one box will have four supers and then you need two and a half boxes to get the one you want you need two boxes to get on average the specific secret rare because there's two different secrets in one one box basically so or uh every box will have one secret so then there's two secrets so it's actually harder to get like if you're trying to go for like a kazi Jin super rare you would have to open more boxes on average than just going for a gate guardian which is hilarious like that's a reason like high pull ratios are fun and everything but it might be a little too easy to get those but you know that's just how it goes sometimes i guess one two three four we have the aqua chorus can we get something here we have only gotten anything that crazy yet we're still looking for that magicians of bonds and unity i'd be down to pull it already i'd be down for it i wouldn't be mad if we pulled it early we, it never happens we search for something and then we have to do a giant case opening we never get it as like our first starlight or one of our first openings it just does not happen so I'm like 99% sure we're not going to get it today. This is me trying to reverse jinx it, by the way. There is almost no way that we could potentially pull the Magicians of Bonds and Unity. Definitely not happening, right? Unchained Soul, we have the Quay Belt, Million Century Ice Prison, the Finis, the Cornfield, and a Magnum, the Reliever. Okay, all right, still looking. Lots of other ones in here. Okay, the other top one is the Crimson Dragon. Then we have Eperly Noir is pretty high. The Lars, very cool. Can we get something awesome in this box come on oh a revolution synchron we can get something awesome this is the best secret rare in the set i mean if you exclude all the quarter centuries this is the best card you can get so i'm assuming this has a 25th but i actually don't know if it does but surely it does 25 of them this has to have one that'll probably be a big value one as well all right that's pretty sick so we pulled the best secret rare now if we could just get a quarter century this would be a great opening uh that's what we're really looking for we want to get a quarter century today tomorrow we're probably going to be doing an entire case opening uh video so you'll probably see a few quarter centuries there maybe even the one we're looking for so if you're excited about that make sure to subscribe to the channel and then the next day saturday we should be doing a live stream searching for that magicians of bonds and unity i don't know if it's going to happen but we're going to do our best to potentially pull it, I'm Rux and Specialing everywhere. Jurassic Power, Split Mirror, Valence Wave. We have Grinosaurus and an ultra rare Angelica, Princess of Noble Arms. Look how Noble Arms is getting support. Is it even possible to make that work with Eclipse these days? I don't know. I guess there's always a way. There's always a way to make stuff good, but over exaggerating. The Cuckoo commanded to croon. I still don't know what that means, but it is a very fun one to say. E Pearly Noir, the best ultra. This turned into a crazy box. If we get a 25th in this last pack right here, this will be like one of the best boxes you can get. Dual Snacks is the last pack of this box. Can we pull a quarter century secret rare? We have an emergency, small scuffle, new world, scrap iron, Diadata, split mirror, Grinosaurus, million century, and a banishing trap hole super. Okay, okay. All right, let's try another box. We want to get a 25th anniversary today. We don't want to, I mean, I've opened three boxes now, no 20, 25th anniversary. This is our fourth box of them. One today, 
This will be our second today, two yesterday. We want to try to get one, unless they like increase, if they increase the ratios, it's gonna be impossible to get specifics at that point. I don't think they did that. I think we just haven't gotten one yet. Uh, but imagine if they were like one a case, it'd be 25 cases to get the one you want. It would be absurd. I mean, it would be kind of cool, but it would definitely be really cool to like, for rarity and stuff, but you know, they probably just reprint it again later like they've been doing. Okay, we have E Pearly Noir, already a good start. That's the best ultra. We've gotten three of those in four boxes now. We have a Magician of Faithfulness, very cool. We have a Mag Magnum Reliever, all right, super rare. We have Magic Key, we have a Nightmare Magician. We pulled this one yesterday as well, very cool looking card. Unfortunately, not a 25th anniversary secret rare but it is a regular secret rare. We have a Duelist Genesis up next. Let's see if we can potentially pull something crazy, you know, like Duelist Genesis has. You know, the Ghost Rare Stardust, we're not gonna get a Ghost Rare, but we could get a 25th anniversary secret rare here, which would be pretty awesome. And right now we have not gotten one, which is not awesome. Let's see if we can, okay. Dreaming reality of Nimleria realized. We can do this. We can pull something crazy. We have a Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws. Will it be in this box or will we have to open another box to get a quarter century secret today? Ooh, sinful spoils of subversion. Snake Eyes, second best secret rare. So we got in the first and second best secret rare here. Very nice. Looking good. We have Evil Tile. We have Thalematech Clytus. Is that a Mathemec card? Thalematech? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Magic Key Deity, Hound of Testina. It's hard to say a lot of these new, are these new archetypes, I assume? A little bit difficult to follow. Cornfield, we have a Unchained Soul of Yama. It almost looks like Yata, but it is not. It is not the Yata Garasu that we are looking for. And we're not looking for it here, but we often are looking for it. We have the beta evolution pill. Interesting. Evolution pill getting another card. Very interesting. Can we get a 25th quarter century anniversary secret rare fusion armament? Is that a flame swordsman? That's sick. Who's behind him? Is that like so, like a bird? It kind of looks like a black wing or is that just like part of his armor? I can't tell. Very interesting. Will we get a quarter century? Come on. Thestalos, the Shadow Fire Monarch. Very, very nice. Thestalos, cool to see that. Getting a retrain. A lot of cool retrains in this set. Here we go. We have a Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Add it again. More Red Eyes, more retrains. Very cool stuff. Still some facts left in the second box. Fourth box overall for us. We haven't had good luck with this set so far. We have a Ursartic Polar Star. Let's go. We have a Wheel Synchron. We have a Infernoble Knight. Okay. Oh, I think we got something. All right, we got a 25th. What will it be? Will it be the Magicians of Bonds and Unity? Let's just let's just put this one at the back for more dramatic effect. We have Alter Guys Revitalization, New World Stars. Can we get the Magicians of Bonds and Unity on the first one? That would be ins insane luck. It'd be awesome. Synchro, Scrap Iron. We have a Jurassic Power. Let's get a good one. Come on, Cornfield Codal. We have a one in 25 chance. Four percent chance is the one we want. We have a Makunko Spirit Walk, and we have finally a. Slip near the runic main? Wait, what card is, is this normally an ultra or a super? The runic main, interesting. Okay, we got a fusion. This is not the Magician's Bond and Unity, which by the way, I forgot to mention, is not in the set except for as a 25th anniversary rare. So uh, we will only see it in this rarity. Very cool, we'll take it. Quarter century secret. I mean, we aren't gonna get it on the first try, let's be honest, but still cool. I will take that. A couple more packs to open up here. Let's see if we can finish it off with a pretty awesome secret. Nope, not a secret there. I think we might have already gotten two secrets. I can't remember, but I guess you could get an extra one. You're finished. We are finished. We did get a quarter century today. Not the Magicians of Bonds and Unity that we're looking for. The tongue twister of a card. Two more. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to be opening a case. Maybe we'll get it out of there. Make sure to check it out. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see that video. It's going to be epic. Hopefully will be the pull that we're looking for. And if not, Chimera, very nice ultra rare. If it's not there, we will still be doing a live stream Saturday. So I wanna see you guys there. And if you guys wanna grab some for yourself, go check out Sassy Auto's link down below and get 5% off using my code. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Macycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, and Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.